Good morning, beautiful people. The forecast was right. It is snowing. If you're new here, we are Luca and Sara from Liu Live Everything and Wonder. We traveled from Alaska to Argentina with an $800 old truck camper. And when we returned to Italy, we converted our mini van Luigi into a beautiful tiny home on wheels to be able to explore more of this beautiful world. Welcome back to our weekly daily vlog series. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to enjoy the adventures of a curious Italian couple. Good morning, Sarita. Good morning, Amore. I'm super excited for the snow. Good morning guys, lucky land, winter land, beautiful, winter wonderland. This is the first snow we got this year. We got a little bit last week but it lasted only for a few hours and was mainly a rain because it was too warm. And today We got the real snow. Since tomorrow morning we need to go to the hospital because Sara has some blood tests to do. I need to get the car here, switch the car with Luigi and bring the car right here. Luca is cleaning our driveway and is driving the car close to our entrance because tomorrow morning very early we have to go to the hospital because I have the OGTT test meaning the oral glucose tolerance test it is very important at this stadium of the pregnancy because during pregnancy you can get gestational uh, diabetes so we need to check I will do a blood test then they will let me drink 100 grams of sugar and then I will get another blood test they told me that I need to stay at the hospital three hours wow look at that so you know that our road the road that leads to our house it's rough and it's steep I hope that they will come and clean it, otherwise we will be stuck. So Luca is moving the van and the car, he's cleaning at least this driveway, because otherwise tomorrow will be, I don't say impossible, but very difficult to drive down to the hospital. Nobody came for the moment. Oh, hopefully later on today.
we installed the winter tires on the Polina so at least we are safe on that level Our oranges are ready, so we put here on the radiator until they become crunchy and this is a very good fire starter for the fireplace and it's natural and it smells amazing. Until the chimney is not ready, it's finished, we are using the propane. We are ready to work, uh, but uh, before I was cleaning uh, the road uh, so we can uh, get uh, with the car on the main road uh, tomorrow because yes. uh, it's still snowing a lot, so it's growing the amount uh, of <laughs> snow on the road. And now this is probably yesterday yeah, you have seen our living room, or well, two days ago you have seen our living room empty. So, but this is the first time you, you can see it properly. And now we need to empty that wall. Remove the candles. We will be painting this area where we will put the sofa. Here with an anti-mold, anti-mold yes. paint. And also this area over here. You can see that it's... Yes, we will do the same treatment we did uh, upstairs in our room uh, when we had a mold problem, but we will do it uh, probably in summertime. Pronto? Pronto? Sorry guys, the hospital called me. So we had to stop recording for a while because I got... It, a... it was a very important call. Yes, because... So um, I didn't mention this before. If the placenta will stay low-lying placenta, placenta previa and will not move up, we need to schedule in January a C-section. So we need to go to one hospital. If the placenta and all the checkups that we will do in December will be okay and positive, all the values are great. We can go to another hospital that is a birth center where they treat, um, they treat you in a very natural way. And in case you are inside a very good hospital in Torino, in case you have an emergency, you just go on the second floor and you have everything you need. But you have to, to have the, the good placenta in a good position. So at least I have now the appointment, so this was the good news. I was just saying that we will be probably putting the panels uh, for, for the 
mold uh, in, during summer when we can leave the windows open uh, and it, it dries uh, faster right now we have other priorities <laughs> as you may know so and this is the wall this is the where... wall facing the mountain so upstairs uh, is a uh, let's say floor level and down here we have basically the mountain that's why there is a summer humidity right here we will not deal with it right now we will deal and that's summer. why there is also this, this gap. gap from the wall to the other wall because there are there there is some air circulating yes there is a gap with air that enters from one side of the house and exit the other side of the house to bring the humidity away okay so first thing first we will paint yeah and then we have the new couch yes in there i can't wait to see how it looks like this was not our first choice for the color we would like we would prefer a cream beige color but this was the only one available yes, they, so. as we already mentioned in previous videos uh, IKEA is running out of materials. The other fabric uh, was already sold out, uh, so we had to buy this one. But I like it because you know the concept of this house is stone and wood, so the gray color yes, will be it's, fitting. It's similar there. to the gray of the stone uh, that is called Luzerna. Luzerna. That comes from uh, some uh, mountains nearby. Yeah. Okay, let's start. While the wall is drying, we will have lunch, Mexican food today. <laughs> I love it. Snow everywhere, snow everywhere. All over Italy. I will take off all these protections, clean this space, and then it's time to open the boxes yeah. and see how the couch is. So here we will have the bed coming out from the sofa and the couch is this one and here there is the storage designed for the air ventilation. Are you ready to see the result? Yes. <laughs> da, 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 da. This is the couch. And 
this is uh, the bad mode. Uh, we also have a topper that fits perfectly on the couch. So you want the people that will sleep here, they won't feel the gap between the cushions and the pillows. It's comfortable? Yeah, it's written that you should stay with your head on this side. Okay, I, I don't I, know why. I don't know why either. Uh, good night. And then it's perfect because when we want to watch the TV, yeah, we can watch can it like this. It is super. <laughs> Very nice. Just need to move the TV a little bit. Even the color is not so bad. And then it's super fast. Nice, and on the other side we have the storage. Ah, yes. Lots of storage down here. Nice. Nice, nice, baby. And here is where we will let you go, guys, because it's pretty late and tomorrow we have to wake up at 6, 6.30 a.m. And Sarah still need to edit. Yes, this is always. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> and now the snow stopped, so um, the road is pretty. Yeah, it should clean. be it's clean. Okay. I clean it uh, twice. Uh, so <laughs> first time I show it to you guys, then it kept snowing, snowing, snowing. So I clean it again, uh, and uh, now it should be okay for tomorrow morning. If it's snowing more tomorrow morning, I will have to clean it before we get out of here. Let's hope that tomorrow everything will be okay, yeah. fingers crossed, and but you will come together with us because this is a daily vlog, so we will see you tomorrow. We hope you enjoy this couch, we hope you enjoy this time together with us. If, if so, so <laughs> please smash the thumbs up button on today's episode. Hit the notification bell and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. The Italian words for today's video are Neve Snow Divano Couch Teniamo le dita incrociate Fingers crossed Neve Snow Divano Couch Teniamo le dita incrociate Fingers crossed We love you, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us. We will see you tomorrow and remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao! Ciao!